All right, welcome back to the channel, folks. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Before I get into today's video of what we're actually going to do, I want to go over what happened recently, what made me have to change, where I do all my editing, everything, uh, how I had to set everything up. But let's uh, flick on a couple lights down here. We're going to take a walk. Um, we had... Uh, been an issue okay so last year um this this was my room for doing all my editing and uh last year we had a problem where we had a we this ball was tore out this floor had to be tore out it used to be carpet uh we had to put this hardwood in um but yet this year again we still had a heavy rain and then the rain came down into the basement flooded the whole basement i said i cannot have this i mean that computer probably will never work again uh now it's it's probably water damaged um maybe not i don't know right but I, I couldn't have it that way so what i did is i took everything into this room and i put it over here uh basically let's go this way okay so let's take a look here as you can see, I got some, I got it all set up here where I do all my editing. Got me and boy from the picture there. Um, but, you know, I got some stuff here, you know, like my guitar and all that. My tools are down here. Uh, I got more tools down here in the fridge, the cool, the printer. Um, and, uh, you're probably wondering what that is over there. That's my little garden center I'm going to have. Um, so I figured I'd try and plant uh, some vegetables. See if it turns out all right. Um, it's, a, it's a learning curve. Because um, yeah, we got all this here mess here. We got all this mess over here. You know, basically everything. So what I'm going to do is all this stuff here all these clothes and everything they gotta go they're going to uh like the thrift store value village whatever um that there is gonna go back out into the burn all right folks so we went to canadian tire we looked at the sanders there we looked at the price of them and i wasn't paying outrageous for what i want to do with it um the the ones that they had on sale for cheap they were they were all gone so I was like, okay, well, let's go to Walmart. I had to go over there because uh, I had to get more ink for the printer. So while I was over there, I checked it out and, uh, you know, I got this $41 sander. So let's take a look and see what I got to do this. So if we look, I got the cheap little sander skill, right? So, and then I just bought, uh, I got the 60, 80, and 100 grid, basically to start it off. Then we got 120 to bring it down better, and 180, and then 320. Um, the, the reason why I got like all these here different is because the 320 is gonna be for when I put the varnish on, right? Um, so make it look good. So, um, we're pretty much, I'm waiting on my son there, he's just, he was finishing up school you got one more but i believe no. um no. but anyways uh once he's done uh still got the baby asleep okay shh. you don't need to scream uh the baby's still asleep so we're gonna get the table outside anyways and get it all set up and uh hopefully we can do it without too much i got uh basically this area cleared where i'm gonna put the table i'm gonna sand the whole top of it um and then i'll take the top off do underneath of each one i'm gonna completely completely redo this um out here and you guys are gonna watch in well nothing you're gonna watch it in uh, uh what's the word uh, i can't figure but it's basically gonna go quick for you guys it's gonna be like probably like three hours for me it'll be like five minutes for you <laughs> um so anyways, with that said, let's just get right into it. Uh, I know I've already drugged this on so far now. Let's just get her going. Oh, 
Okay, so uh, I was going hard. I went and did a little bit off camera too. Um, just because uh, uh, my camera got dead. I realize now that if I'm going to be using the GoPro, I'm going to have to buy more batteries because they don't last long when you're, you know, an hour and a half of non-stop um, um, filming. So, with that said, um, we got... As you can see here, I got like three parts done um, compared to what it looked like. Uh, it's still not complete, you know, like I still got to go over it um, and sand it again. This is just basically to get it, um, all the stuff off it, you know, basically get all that off it, right? Then I'm going to go over it again with a sandpaper and you can see like if you look here, uh, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like white. It almost looks really white and then you look here and it's got like it's a dark color okay so basically what that is is where the varnish went on thicker here than it did there you know as you can see here it went on thicker there there right and basically that's what i got to do is i got to sand all that down so it it uh, cleans it all up you know i'm not doing this like don't get me wrong folks i i didn't i didn't go crazy on the back side right no i didn't uh, you know, um, if you don't, if you uh, say, oh, well, you're not doing it right, well, hey, that's how I'm doing it, right? Like, uh, who's going to look under my table? The only person that's going to look under it is me when I'm taking it apart to move or, you know, or uh, take it apart to throw it out. Um, but the way it looked before was awful. You know, it was paint was coming off the top and everything. Uh, I actually want to go with a dark varnish. So hopefully what I'm thinking will work perfect for it. I don't know. You comment below and tell me what you think um, and let me know. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started on this now. i got to basically unbolt it from these rails here, right? These these rails. Uh, I can't, can't even move them. But anyways, these rails, uh, they, uh, they slide back. i got to unmove it from this here part, right? And then I'm going to take off the little clips, sand that down stuff, um, get that done. Then what I'll do is I'll basically put them two parts back together, take that top off, bring it in the house, bring that in the house, and then I'll just work on the base. All right, folks. So we got that in, and I'm going to take that in now, and uh, I'm going to run over to Home Depot. I'm going to get some burners and some more sandpaper. I need sandpaper that's actually going to sand my wood uh i can't be using you know like i can't be using this uh i was trying to use a hundred to save from having to go right away but i mean it's burning through the hundred no problem right uh you're talking like this is like a thick 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 paint right and it's it's tearing through the sandpaper so anyways with that said i'm gonna head to home depot uh grab some stuff and then we'll get back at it probably i don't know it's supposed to rain so we'll see um we may have to pick this up in the morning but uh for now i'm gonna bring that in just in case it does rain that way uh, it's not getting full of water um i'll go over grab the stuff and then come back and if it's not raining i'll try and finish the bottom off all right guys so it is the next day and uh as you can see you can see my little setup here. I got uh, everything kind of uh, pretty much done. I did say that I was going to sand the back of them and uh, completely do it, um, which I believe that's what I'm going to do because I want this to look um, original, factory original uh, when I'm done with it. So, you know, the only way to do it that good is to sand the back make sure the back is done properly and that uh as you can see i got my little fella out here with me i got two left to sand here and then we'll be starting to put the varnish on and and putting it back together so basically i'm going to start with varnishing this piece then i'll do the legs so that it dries and then i can flip it over start putting the table back together painting that there while it's on this here you know um the only thing i won't be doing is i won't be painting this 
this part, right? Um, it, it's just, it's rough wood, so it's not gonna make a difference whether I paint it or not. Um, but I want the table to look good. So I'm still, it's still a maybe. Maybe I won't, maybe I will. I really want to, but it's, you know, who's actually gonna look at that part? Um, you know, will that make a difference? Cause if you look at it now, it was not, it's basically just a, a rough piece of wood. You know, it was never, it was never done any different. You know, it wasn't looking like, how can I say it? It wasn't looking like the top of the table or anything. So why should I work hard on that there? Just do the, the parts that really need it. Um, I don't know, it's still up in the air, but for now I'm just gonna go with, I might do it. So, with that said, let's get them last two pieces sanded and then we'll start the varnish and the finish of this table. All right, folks, so we got a bit of sealer, this here stuff. We put a little bit of that on, so let's take a look. What do you think? Hmm? Does it look nice? Still got the whole top to do, but we go around. I just, I like, I look here, I look here, and I look there, and I'm like, I wish it was a little darker, but I think that's the way it's supposed to be. All right, because if you look here, you can see it too. It depends on how you look at it. Um, it gives a different color, kind of. Uh, but it is what it is, folks. I'm not. Uh, I'm not too sad about it. It looks really good. So, you know, if I find after I'm almost done it, and I find like I want to touch up a couple areas, easy enough throw a little touch up on it and away we go um, but for now I'm waiting for that to dry so I can put another coat on it I want to put one more on it one more coat of the sealer and then we're gonna work on the table all right so I got the I got the table back together uh, I'm gonna start cleaning it up and putting the stuff on it now but before I do that I think I'm gonna start the barbecue because we're gonna have barbecue uh, like I was saying earlier to you we went and uh, what did we get? I had to open the fridge to see again. Oh, we got hamburgers, chicken, and sausages. We're gonna barbecue um, and have salad with it. So we're gonna get the barbecue going. Uh, I'll probably put a coat on that there and in the process of cooking at the same time kind of deal. Um, eat and then go back to that. So let's get it going. got it looking pretty good here um, got the dogs following me around the wife took the kids to the park uh, but yeah, as you can see in the video um, I got it all pretty much done I mean I still got to do in the creases here right it's still drying um, still got to do in the creases there right all the creases I want to do that there part um, and then and I'll put the sealant over it. So basically, if you look at that, if you can see, I don't know if you can tell on camera until I look, but you can see that's kind of like a dull, dull, dull color. But then you look down here, and if you look at that, how it's so shiny, um, you know, you'll see. <laughs> I'm here trying to explain it to you, but I mean, you're gonna see in a second. To you, it's gonna be like a second. To me, it's gonna be like, another hour and a half to two hours um because right now what i'm dealing with is it's still wet so like like if i go like that see how it's leaving like a, a black scum on my hands uh it's not dry enough yet yeah. and you're probably saying oh geez you're gonna ruin it nah you ain't gonna ruin that i got enough on there that's what's happening is that's soaking into it right it's soaking into it um but yeah so uh, uh, it's gonna be at least another hour before I can get the sides done and then you know I'll get, I'll get this done by tonight and then I'll have to 
let it dry overnight um, in the house here. So maybe maybe that'll help. Maybe the, the come in the house with it in the warmth because uh, it is man, it's warm uh, and and that might help. But I gotta get this kitchen back to normal too before I bring the table in. I should probably clean this whole kitchen and then bring the table back in because it is a mess. The wife's like, yeah, the whole house is a mess. Well, I've been the last two days on this here. She's been studying or doing school work because she just started uh, her schooling two days ago or uh, yeah, Monday, I don't know. Folks, I don't even know what day it is. What day is it, Friday? <laughs> huh? There you go, it just goes to show you how busy life can be when you're uh, trying to create content and stuff. Uh, and to keep things going for the channel, you know, to up that channel view duration. Um, so anyways, with that said, we're gonna let that dry. Once it is dry, we're gonna get back to it. So we'll see you then. All right, folks, after two days of working on it, what do we have? But we have the table complete, which looks, in my opinion, amazing. It looks amazing. Um, I think so anyways uh, you know compared to what it did look like I think uh, I did a pretty good job I mean we look underneath you know make sure that uh, everybody sees that you know I didn't cheap out I I worked my butt off on this um, you know to get it to get it to where it's at so now it is done you know to go from um, this to looking like this is pretty incredible i think that's my opinion uh if you have an opinion comment below tell me what you think what do you think do you think i made this table look better than it did before i think so okay like i was saying there uh I think I did something that turned out amazing and uh, I think I'm quite happy with it. It still needs to dry um, and these damn things keep coming off the tree and landing on it. I mean it's, you know, like I can touch it. Don't get me wrong folks, I can touch it, right? But you can still feel like the, the gumminess of it, right? It's still sticky. So anyways, I'm going to let it dry a little longer. I'm going to get it in the house. We will get it situated hopefully tomorrow it'll be dry um i'm gonna get a, a see-through cloth to go over the top of it basically just uh to keep it from getting marked up and stuff and uh i think it's turned out quite quite good so you tell me comment below um tell me what you think and uh if you like this video don't forget hit that like button and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button because not only will i be doing this i still got that car out back that's going to be uh getting worked on very very soon um i don't know when but very very soon uh i got the part in to start it so i just basically got to get out and get started on it um, but this here came up first. So with that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.